The NFT space is taking off like a rocket and lots of people are searching for the trends that they can latch onto to ride this wave, you know, all the way to the moon. Well, there are several common themes popping up with, you know, these really successful NFT projects that are forming into bigger trends that are going to grow long term. And so I want to talk about some of those in this video today. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I just checked my calendar and 2021 is almost over with. So I'm going to talk about the biggest NFT trends that you need to watch out for for 2022 and beyond. I'm going to talk about that as a blockchain developer who works this technology on a daily basis. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. So NFT adoption is taking off like crazy. We've seen over $15 billion of NFT trading volume in October. Coinbase is planning to launch its own NFT platform soon. Twitter is integrating an NFT verification service into their app. And Photoshop is even releasing functionality to create your own NFTs inside the application itself. And so all these major players are getting into this space, trying to you know capitalize on what's happening right now with the NFT space, which is largely digital artworks, digital collectibles. You might see a lot of the uh, you know NFT drops. NFTs use this profile pictures. This is definitely one of the predominant things that people are doing with NFTs right now. And for that reason, that's why I'm going to hold the NFT masterclass on Thursday, November 4th. Inside, I'm going to show you how to actually create your own generative NFT project step by step, start to finish. And we're going to learn by doing because we're actually going to do a drop live on the stream. So sign up with the link down below to hold your spot today. So that's one of the biggest things that people are using NFTs for right now. But let's look at the trends that are actually taking root, gaining traction now that I think are going to continue to grow into 2022 and beyond. So a lot of these trends basically take the current use cases for NFTs and build on top of that to enhance their functionality. Okay. So uh, the first category or trend that I want to talk about is actually membership and community that's built around the NFTs, okay? So this was something that kind of grew organically from original NFT projects like CryptoPunks. They kind of had a community go around them. I mean, their NFTs are programmable, so you can add whatever functionality you want to really long term with additional you know, programming. But some NFT projects have launched and have actually integrated this in as part of their community from the get-go. And that's one trend that I that I expect to continue to take off in 2022 and beyond is actually membership NFTs that offer you some sort of access, not just online, but also offline. So what are some of the possibilities? So Board Ape Yacht Club is a pretty good example of that. This is actually a community built around the NFTs themselves. So you get this collectible, you get this digital artwork that you like you like the aesthetic of, you could use it as your profile picture. This can sort of be your online avatar. But in addition to that, it actually gets you access to the community and it actually gets you membership to the club. And this can be extended from offline to also online. I mean, we see things like, you know, online community chats that are exclusive to certain NFT holders. And you might think that sounds kind of weird, like who really cares about that? But if that's a filtering process that can actually get you access to like, you know, privilege information and the fact that you got maybe into one of these NFTs early and now you're talking to other people who, you know, have the same kind of thing and have that kind of edge, you can help share knowledge with one another. And there's actually a real value proposition there. We've also seen things like V Friends, uh, you know, led by Gary V, you know, the famous uh, web entrepreneur. And this is a core value proposition of the V Friends NFTs themselves is that uh, it's going to actually get to get you access to the live events that Gary does and lots of other benefits that are just, you know, around that brand. And I can see this trend growing, you know, further and further and more, uh, you know, just businesses that we know now doing NFT drops later to do this. We've talked about uh, how big brands could do social tokens. Well, one implementation around this may actually be brands issuing NFTs, and that's actually the social token in and of itself, maybe not a cryptocurrency like you might be thinking of. And this could get you access to, you know, community events for that particular brand, lots of other benefits. All right, so the next uh, trend that I anticipate to continue to take off with NFTs that's happening right now are actually NFTs that pay you royalties, okay, or yield in some way. We kind of see this happening in, in multiple different ways, okay. There's a couple problems here. So w one is like, let's say you buy an NFT and, you know, it goes up in value. Well, the problem is if you actually want to realize any gain from that NFT, you have to sell it, right? You have to sell the entire thing. That's the whole point of a non-fungible token. Uh, unless you fractionalize it, you can't just sell off part of it. You have to sell the entire thing and then you just lost that NFT. Now, you can solve this problem by you know, having multiple NFTs in a collection, but if it's a really expensive NFT, you may not be able to afford to do that. There's th This can be solved essentially with yield. So an NFT that pays you some sort of cash flow on top of the you know holding the asset itself. And we're starting to see lots of projects do this. Um, that's one way of thinking about this. The other way is actually royalties. So let's say um, you have an NFT that represents art. And anytime that NFT is traded, like the person who actually created the art can get some sort of royalties upon that particular trade. So it's not just like, they sell it once and then they get money off maybe off the drop and then they never see any kind of 
uh, you know, payment from that ever again. Now, both of these things are uh, are things that I can see, you know, take up over time. Now, there's going to be some resistance here because we've already started to see uh, some pushback from the SEC and other, you know, regulatory bodies on these particular types of entities because they, you know, have a promise of cash flow and that would, you know, potentially make them liable uh to follow the, the regulations that are in place for these types of financial instruments. So I do think that this is a trend that could take off long term, but this has to be reckoned with in order for it to see sustainability. So the next big trend that I anticipate to continue taking off is metaverse land. Okay, so what is that? Well, let's start off with the metaverse. So the metaverse essentially is an embodied internet that is trending. It's starting to really gain adoption. Okay, so you can think about this as like, uh, what we've seen almost in the past, like gaming or VR, where you kind of experience this three-dimensional worlds. But uh, we've had one big blocker for, for making that like an open metaverse um, because we haven't really had, you know, scalable blockchains to actually support that. Because, of course, we've had games, we've had VR, where centralized co companies can create these worlds that you can participate in. Uh, but to actually enable uh, a neutral metaverse where it's not controlled by one company, but you can actually have, you know, multiple people build worlds that, you know, exist inside this metaverse. That's what we've needed scalable blockchains for. And we're at that point where we can that can take off. And NFTs have a pretty big part in that. So one of the ways is metaverse land. OK, so if you have a metaverse that's plots of land, just like, you know, the physical world, then you can buy that real estate, just like buying, you know, real estate into newly explored land as NFTs. And this is a trend that's continued to take off. We're seeing it with things like, you know, Axis, Decentraland, and a lot more. And so the last big trend that I want to talk about is definitely gaming NFTs. One of the cool things about blockchain and gaming is that, you know, it takes a lot of things that people are already used to doing instead of video games, uh, you know, playing the video games and earning items in the game, or they just buy them inside the game to help build their characters, whatever it is. Uh, but at the end of the day, those items stay inside the game. But with the blockchain, the cool thing is that you could actually take those items and take them out of the game, you know, sell them in an open marketplace. Maybe you could use them in a different game. You could have all these neutral assets that you could mix and match, use other places in the metaverse and a lot more. And we're seeing this also, uh, and then you use, you use NFTs for this, okay? We're already seeing this with other video games like Axies where you're doing play to earn and you can actually, you know, profit with those games. And then you can actually get NFTs inside of those games and sell them on secondary marketplaces. And you know, we've seen this Axie Infinity's character now listed at 3,000 ETH. So the upside profit potential is huge, okay? And I'm really just scratching the surface. This is just the beginning of what you could possibly do with NFTs inside of video games. Uh, but those are core principles that make it work. And so those are some aspects of the trends that are starting to take off now. And it's who, who knows really where this trend is going to go, all the new exciting possibilities you could do with video games and NFTs with cryptocurrency and blockchain long term. All right, so those are some of the top trends for the NFTs that I expect to take off into 2022 and beyond. OK, so this is just the beginning of, you know, enhanced functionality for the NFTs that we have right now okay so we're, we're just scratching the surface for what you can do with nfts in general we, we can do more things long term like real estate titles you know insurance contracts anything that you can uh anything that has a record in the the, the real world that can be digitized and have you know value settled on the blockchain that is non-fungible you know nfts can completely disrupt that and i do think some of these other bigger use cases will take time because a lot of these things are heavily regulated and they'll be slower to adopt but the things like right now that are primarily digital are, are just ripe for innovation you know at this point in time and one of the biggest trends that's happening right now is that you know basically generative nft trend where people are doing drops and that's exactly what i'm going to show you how to do inside the uh, NFT masterclass on Thursday, November 4th. I'm going to show you to create an NFT project, a generative NFT project, step-by-step -step start to finish. So artwork, smart contracts, website, everything. And we're going to drop an NFT live on the session. So sign up with the link down below to hold your spot today. All right, that's all I've got. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so the more people learn about blockchain. And if you're as fast in this technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you start today? You go to my YouTube homepage, find my free courses there. They're like you to be courses, but they're totally free. You can go ahead and get your hands dirty today. Uh, start familiarizing yourself with the technology, especially if you want to hold your spot for that masterclass on Thursday, November 4th. All right, so that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.